Welcome to another episode of the 1010 Challenge with me, Ida. And today we have another game in the series, but also our first game in Division 6. If you were watching our last episode, we had our 10 slash 12 packs that we opened um, and we got a lot of dog shit. The only players I've really changed, we got uh, Ramsey and Gradle to put on the bench and Murillo or Murillo. That was it. So that's the team we have to go with. I'm just going to check that. So we do need to apply a fitness card and all that. So I'll do that in off camera, but I will meet you in the game. A few moments later. All right, this is this guy's team. It looks pretty decent. Standard Premier League team by the looks of it. It's got Butland, Bayerin, uh, Zuma, Van Dyke, uh, Gaia, Deli Ali, Xhaka, Ericsson, Walcott, uh, Diego Costa, and Mares. This may be a difficult game for us. Don't know how it's going to be, what the different leagues are, because it does get sort of mixed match in what league you're in um, with who you actually play. Um, I don't know whether they've changed that or not, but that's what it has been for years on on Ultimate Team. You have like sort of uh, leeway of what leagues you can play in, and you know we'll see what we get. Looks like this guy isn't playing, so I'm just gonna not talk for a while. I'm just gonna see how many goals I can get. They get some luck, get lucky, get three points on the board. That's all we really want, isn't it? All right, it seems like they're playing now, so I'll uh, I'll continue. All right, he's through on goal, and that's a goal. Good finish. My topic for today is to talk about Premier League and the differences in the two teams at the top. So obviously we've got Tottenham and we have Chelsea. So with Tottenham, you have a very fine team that's playing some good stuff has been near the top of the league the whole season pretty much has had a good run of form recently and they will expect them to do fairly well for the rest of the season and push Chelsea all the way but what you have to look at with what they have in their running oh that is a terrible pass what you have to look at in their running is they are playing some pretty hard teams Back through to Origi. Can we use this skill? We can. Keep going, Origi. Oh, he saved it. I hammered that. So it'll go top corner. Oh, I thought that was in. Look at this for a save. Oh, it's be better save than... <laughs> not as good a save as I thought it was. But we'll uh, we'll have to take it. Sane's in on the header. No, he's not. Torresidis, my right back. Can he hit it? No, he can't. He's not... <laughs> He's never hit one in his life. Tottenham's running looks very bad for them and uh, in their quest to try and win the league. You look at who they've got. They've got Man United. They have a North London derby and they had a bad, shitty defence like I'm doing. Not being able to stop him. He's had two shots and scored two goals. The fact that they're playing Man United is a difficulty for them because Man United are on a very, very long... Oh, how is that not a free kick for me then? I got bundled off the ball just before that and they gave advantage and the ball went straight out of play. Where's the advantage there? Man United have been on a pretty mu pretty long unbeaten run in the Premier League and yeah, they've been drawing a lot, but a draw for Tottenham at this stage of the season and the amount of points they have and what they're looking to do is a long road back if they do draw. Oh, come on! How has that got through to him then? I just did a fantastic tackle. My goalkeeper stood there like a fucking fish. Pedro's getting down the wing. Let's see if we can get anything from him. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to do my stop start. Nope, he's read it. Easy. I need to do my shorter corners better. So I've had a couple of short corners and done all right from them. Straight out to Ida Remende. Finesse it. Nope, easy. All right, that's half time. I've had a lot of shots, but as I said before, look at his shots. He's had four inside the box, scored three of them. I've had three inside the box, scored one, and, you know, four or uh, three outside. So we'll see how we go in the second half. What I might do is make a couple of subs, though. Going to put Seri on. 
Tar on for Murillo. I don't really like him at the moment, having him in there. And I think I'm going to go for Villa instead of Origi, just use some of that pace. Chelsea's running is a lot easier, or, well, you say easier. Obviously, no game in the Premier League is easy. But in terms of the running, it is easier in terms of the teams and where they are in the league in comparison. Because you look at the players that Chelsea have got, players that Chelsea got, the teams that Chelsea have got. They've got Sunderland, Middlesbrough. Everton is a difficult game. It's always a difficult game, no matter who you are. Um, but apart from that, there's not really any other teams that you would hate to play or not want to play against. Um, whereas you look at how Tottenham have such difficult games with Man United fighting. Because I know they're, with Mourinho, he's saying about that they're prioritising the Europa League. Mourinho is a manager that prioritises nothing over nothing. You know, He'll want that fourth place. He'll want to guarantee the Champions League just in case something goes wrong in the Europa League. Let's say somebody slips and the referee decides that actually, no, that's a red card, you know, where um, some players go in and slip and it looks worse than it is. The referee might give them a red card. They might get injuries. Like, they've got so many injuries at the moment. You look at that. And so that's a difficult game for Tottenham. But out of the games that they've got left, they only have the Premier League games to worry about and they have... That's all they've got to fight for. With Chelsea, it's the same deal because obviously the FA Cup final is after the last game of the season in the Premier League. So in that essence, again, Chelsea only have that to fight for. But it does mean that they can also look to a FA Cup as well. Whereas Tottenham's only prize to try and look for now is the league title. And... That's a good save from the keeper. Now, the key question is, can Tottenham win it? Of course they can, yes. Will they? That's the that's the real question, isn't it? Because they can, mathematically, they can win the league. If Chelsea drop, you know, if Chelsea lose against Everton, um, the next set of round of fixtures, if Tottenham beat Arsenal, they'll be one point behind. And then Tottenham will have... Their next game in the league will be before Chelsea play their next game in the league, which means that Tottenham could, in effect, by this time, you know, by the next round, end of the next round of fixtures, um, they could be top of the league. And that is where they're going to earn their money um, in those fixtures, that the difficult fixtures for them, where they're going to have to work really hard to try and get back you know keep the lead at the top if they do in fact have that lead at the top whether they will or not is another question as i said the question is will they win the league in my opinion no they will not win the league as i said already can they of course they can will they no they will not reason being the run-in for Chelsea is a lot easier but it's not just about the running it's the the presence of mind of champions and players that have the experience of winning these things before because Tottenham have pretty much nobody in their squad that has won a league title before and even their manager in the eight years he's been a top level manager I wish that wasn't Trigueros running through then because he is not a finisher in the eight years that he's been in the top level as a manager, he's not won anything. Now, as a player, I think he did win a few things, but it's not just about, you know, how a manager can win stuff. It's about how the player can win. Seri, oh, that was a good strike. Looks like we... I don't think that was even Seri, was it? <laughs> oh, actually, it must have been, because that doesn't look like Jonathan Tarr. And it's definitely not Villar, because he's not black. And that's going to be a goal. Yep. My goalkeeper's saved like one shot. That's all we can have. Do I think Tottenham can win the league next year? I think they can, but it depends on what the other clubs do. A lot of teams, it doesn't really depend on what other teams do. It's just how much they can spend and who they bring in. Whereas with Tottenham, I think it's dependent on what the other teams in the league do. Because if Man United decide that they haven't had the best season and that they need to bring in 200 million pounds worth of players they will 
If Man City want Guardiola to stay, they're going to give him the funds to bring in the players that he wants. Um, Conte, if obviously, if he does eventually win the league with Chelsea, then they're going to give him the money to succeed again for next season. Okay, that's the end of the game. Obviously, that's a loss, and it took us a while in the last division to lose that many. And in terms of the actual game overall, he was just more clinical. Like We both had a similar amount of shots, and I know a lot of mine were outside the box, but I had the four inside, one just outside, which was the free kick at the end of the game. But he was just more clinical. That's all I can say. So I do think Chelsea will win it eventually, but it just depends when. So if you disagree, tell me. If you like the video, please give it a like, and thank you for watching. Peace.